dear students so we have seen about stress emotions motivation so now we'll see about attitude and behavior have you heard this word attitude because generally we use about uh, attitude sometimes we tell some people you are having attitude like that so what exactly attitude is and how this both behavior and attitude connect to each other how people feel what they believe is their attitude so it is difficult to describe or measuring attitude definition of attitude attitude is the readiness to respond in such a way that behavior is given in a certain direction so how your behavior has been going based on that you are responding and that readiness to respond is known as atti attitude for example have you heard about democracy we all tell our indians we all are we are living in a democratic country for the people by the people to the people so like that we feel that we have a positive attitude towards our democracy so all the democratic practice we will do because we feel that so that feeling and that positivity towards that feel is attitude it is a predisposition it is already prepared in your mind it is already there as in your character and is a readiness to respond in a predetermined manner to the relevant stimuli that is attitude so i am i always like to give some good example sharing some stories so you know because people will always love to learn from those incidents so some life incidents i'll just share how you would like to be remembered 100 years ago a man was there at looking at his morning newspaper he was reading his newspaper and to his surprise he just found that his name was there in the obituary column obituary column means these are the separate pages in the newspaper in the english newspaper they have that obituary column where all the dead persons informations will be there who is been dead today i mean anybody in your relatives in your known people in politicians in your public or private anything so those details will be there in the obituary column so he got suddenly shocked his name is written there and how it happened his photo is all done he's live and the newspaper is reporting the death of the wrong person by mistake how this will be post and suddenly what will happen if suddenly you just remember what will happen if it is for you also we will land up in shock right then he thought better he, th he thought in different way here is the uniqueness of this personality he is thought i am i am here or there and he just second thought was to find out what the people have said about him so he was a non person he was a little famous person so what people told about him like dynamite king dies you know dynamite dynamite like um, those are making this batteries and all no so such factory he is having that factory or something like that and people are writing dynamite king dies his name is not written and somebody says written he was merchant of death so many things were like uh, things were written about his job his uh, normal life pattern right and uh, he was the man who invented the dynamite and he read the words the like merchant of dirt and he felt so bad he just returned he just asked himself is this how i am going to be remembered is this the way i am going to be remembered by people like i am a dynamite king or i the i am was a merchant of the death then his feelings because of his this feelings he got touched and he decided that this was not the way he wanted to be remembered he just thought that no i do not want people to be remember me like this i just want my people to remember in different way so that is the question how we do like to be remembered you also have to think how or we all should think how people should tell after my death about me every people generally tells he was a good person he, everything people tell after death also but during my lifetime also i should be remembered by many good things so he just started to working towards peace peace means shanti samadhan so he just started working on that and his name was alfred nobel have you heard about this person alfred nobel his picture is here he is very great person uh, later there was the the uh, the government of the i think world we were all famous about nobel prize it was started based on his thoughts actually right so just as alfred nobel got 
touch with his feelings and he redefined his values and we should step back and do the same. So this is the way you always see think because he started working towards peace. He left his job and started working towards peace and for peace people are getting award in Nobel Prize, right? So always you have to think about your legacy, what we are leaving back for our generation, how you will be remembered, will you spoken well of, have you been remembered by yourself, will you get with the love and respect, will you be missed. So these all things will come, that is the positivity we are thinking about our life. This is attitude. So this is simple example I am just shared and we can see about components of attitude. Even in the behavioral uh, outcome also, in the motivation chapter also, I have taught you one diagram like this about cognition, then cognition and affect. Here only I will explain because I told you like this three has to be very much balanced. I told even about three H. Cognition means going to our head, our knowledge, our uh, thinking, comprehension, cognition, uh, sorry, not cognition, cognition. Cognition is about that. Cognition is about your heart, your affect, your feeling. Your, sorry, your uh, hand skills and this is your affect, your heart. This is hand, this is uh, your head and this is your hand, your uh, heart, like your feelings. These three has to be in balance. Cognition means your belief towards something. Affect means your emotion and behavior is your outcome. That is your action, cognition. You can say this as a cognition, your action, cognitive. Simple example, people always have attitude towards smoking, right? So, this is not a good attitude, but you see how the cognitive component, cognitive component means about the lungs. Have you seen about the various disclaimer before starting any movies? They always show disclaimer that uh, when people are smoking, they show on their lungs, how the lungs is filled with uh, nicotine and tar like that, right? How the lungs got very blackish shading. The same way we all are aware about this problem. I know if I smoke, I know I have. If I do alcohol, I know I have this type of side effect. So that cognition aspect is there. That knowledge is there in your head. But you have that effect also that no, if I do smoking, it will affect me. I have that effect means it coming from your heart, that feelings towards that. Then I may stop alcohol and my behavior will be I should stop alcohol I should stop smoking because it is not good for me but some people may think in negative way also the nature or characteristics of attitude because attitude always have a subject object relationship means it's a relationship with any objects any person because I am having attitude towards my teacher I am having attitude towards my mobile I am having attitude towards my house maybe positive attitude or negative attitude or attitude towards you are learned which are learned which is not given by birth you have learned throughout your life actually like how to differentiate because hunger we have seen in your motivation chapter hunger is a motive right because we have learned it is a physiological drive i should have that hunger if i feel hunger that drive will come then i will search for food and my preference of the food is my attitude no, at the same time, I should get uh, very posh food, I should get a good food. Such preference if there, it is an attitude towards that food. It is an enduring state of your readiness. Enduring means permanent, it is a durable, it is a permanent state because always you have represented ourselves to respond in particular stimulus. See it on diagram here. What is this? It's a burger. Everybody loves to eat burger, especially uh, adolescents, right? So what is your attitude towards that? You are responding to that because once you have ate that particular thing, then you feel that, nah, this is very good. Then every time you have a positive attitude towards that particular burger. Even some example I have written here, a wife may hold affective attraction to her husband even after the sexual tension has been resolved. Uh, people are doing marriage and already in the motivation we have seen sex drive is one of the important drive. So here people will always feel that if I do sex 
then I can survive. No, it is a survival for species only. And doing to the sex, we need to marry. Marriage is that the social custom it is a social tradition it is accepted standard in by the law by the public so if you are married we are able we can do that sexual activity but after doing sexual activity doesn't mean that husband wife relation gets uh, difficult or it will get down no because they are endurable relationship why because that attitude they have developed so that is attitude characteristics another one is it have motivational characteristics because if i am having attitude towards my nation patriotic feeling i love my country i love india i love america i love russia so any many people tell about their country about their nation because they are a positive attitude towards that country or that all motivated them maybe attitudes are as numerous and varied as the stimuli to which they respond so how we are going to respond that is very important and it will go from positive to strongly negative sometimes it happens like that because a positive person always shows tendency to approach any object then he will have a positive attitude but he want to avoid that object he will show negative attitude for example if i like this type of mobile if i like iphone then always i will have positive attitude towards iphone if, even though they are having any negative impact still i will feel iphone is the best phone because i have prepared my mind i always created that stimulus to my mind that it is the best phone but if i started thinking negative about that iphone then every time iphone comes to me then i will think no this is not a good i this is not a good phone this is not a friendly user such attitude will develop that will be negative why i am giving this example because these are the daily things happening in our life so many things you can correlate with yourself about positive and negative attitude types of attitude we have positive attitude negative attitude and neutral attitude so what do you mean by positive attitude see positive means everything is positive the word itself create positivity what giving me positivity maybe my per any person or maybe any pers family or my friends or anybody is like favorable to me that is positive attitude negative attitude means unfavorable towards me maybe i does not like people or objects i do not like people i do not like this object i do not want this i do not want that so such type of attitude is negative attitude or unfavorable attitude and neutral attitude means you are neither favorable nor unfavorable we are not sure about that uh, i am in diplomatic way maybe like that a little bit favor to this mobile but not much favor to this mobile in that attitude so this is like negative so but always we try to develop positive attitude positive response to the stimulus now the main important part is how to develop attitude because these are very important questions they may ask you questions like uh, how we are forming the attitude what are the characteristic features what are the factors affecting attitude any type of such question comes you have to write this solely see the first point is home and family because home is the basic thing right the first school we can say for every child the first school is his or her home the family so child will identify himself with his parents and other members of the family to pick up their attitude so attitudes developed by the individual whether positive or negative so whatever i am getting fine from my family if i learned from my family that you should love this person you should love your relative or you should love your teachers or you should love your schools you should be very disciplined life this type of attitudes have developed from your childhood then you are developing if your parents are telling in since childhood in your parents are telling no you do not like this person we should not go to your neighbor then what will happen slowly gradually we will learn that that is where attitudes are learned at things always because we have learned from our parents peer groups so as i said both will happen from your uh, these different features like peer group means your same group maybe your family friends or any your same age group friends your neighbors your class means as a child you may sometimes we pick up their attitude of that group if i belong to one particular group of friends so whatever my friends have that habits i may follow their habits because i am addicted to that group i am connected to that group and i feel this group is best for me so i will have that positive attitude feeling or maybe negative attitude also comes from peer group along from your friends conditioning you have learned in the learning theories conditioned 
learning theories I hope you remember about conditioning theory classical conditioning theory and operant conditioning theory classical conditioning theory means uh, what happens have you remember the dog example when dog was there the russian physiologist ivan pavlov theory where the dog was not given food uh, and later they are given the food to the dog then dog started salivation because that food smell itself can create salivation then what happens suddenly they stop giving food and uh, food was given along with the bell so when bell was ringing and the food was getting that bell was a condition to the dog because dog has learned that if bell gets ring i will get the food and later what will happen they will they were they were only ringing the bell but food was not given still the salivation was coming so sometimes it happens with us also that conditioning towards to some object and we are adapted to that if you are conditioned to your hostel life the first day of your hostel life you are not adjusting you are not liking but later what will happen you are conditioned to that hostel life you love that room and you always have positive attitude towards that room and you will not change that room this is a conditioning theory when a patient life is saved by a particular hospital critical moments sometimes has happened the patient always loves some particular hospital loves some nurse or like some doctors why because they felt that this hospital has saved my life once i was in emergency so they will have a favorable attitude and every time they will tell that hospital that hospital why is very good hospital in that hospital number uh, 22 nurses i just give an example maybe in, uh, a a nurse is very good b nurse is very good c doctor is very good doctor so mr so mr so miss mrs so so and so are very good because he got good experience that is conditioning another one is physical growth and development so these all are formation of attitude because poor physical health or your somatic structure is not developed well maybe your body is not well developed then what will happen you may feel that no i am not looking good i am not smart i am not beautiful because i do not have eyes i do not uh, speak i cannot hear or i cannot write well i cannot go and talk in public so that poor thinking can also may uh, develop negative attitude towards us emotionally emotions always play overt or covert behavior overt means open behavior covert means like closed behavior sometimes we do such things as the age grows sometimes we show very openly i am happy sometimes we show i am no i am very sad so this type of expressions itself it gives an attitude development in various uh, experience of our life social development because poor social adjustment also people learn like anti social attitude you know many of the people who uh, i mean children they land up in uh, juvenile homes you know juvenile homes like a child uh, the uh, it is a jail for children children ka jo jail hota hai usko juvenile homes kehte hain remand homes kehte hain so in the juvenile homes people why how these children are coming they are not born criminals but they did some crime how they do because they did some anti social activity maybe their parents have been trained because they have seen that their parents especially those who live in uh, slums or those who live in like roads they do not know how to behave sometimes it happens but i have seen such cases also many people are very well standard also because they maintain their status also sometimes they do not do but some people they do because they follow their parents or they socially they are not developed they are not been educated they have not been sent to the schools their parents are not trained so they do not know whether they are doing right or wrong so they land up in criminal activity and finally where they will come to the jail and remand home because they are picking such social attitudes because they are they not good for them but some people always pick up healthy social adjustment also because we have learned in society how to take good thing from the society and that is the ethical and moral development because we all live with some ideals and values because a man who think that god is ultimate then god is the one will not have unfavorable attitude towards the person belonging to religion other than is old 
so some people may not think because god is only one i should not think about hindu i should not think about christian i should not think about muslim every religion is one because god is one so such type of attitude also can be developed because we have been trained we have been trained by our religion that you have to respect everybody's religion we have to respect human beings and you have to believe in god so this type simple examples maybe you have learned moral principles in your life also you have to be very obedient you have to be honest you have to be disciplined because we have been trained that ethical values so if any situation or any circumstances or any particular uh, particular moment comes to us what will happen uh, suddenly some people will influence us to do some wrong things so our mind will not support that because we have been disciplined till since our child so we will not say no no i will not take bribe i will not do corruption because i do not want to uh, i do not want to break my ethical principles direct instruction some people will give direct instruction towards attitude formation also because if somebody is giving about a instruction about uh, how to apply hair dye coloring to the hair so we are listening to that class and we are getting a good attitude then we will do that or any class about uh, awareness about eating fruits eating good food so any such things what will happen you will have a positive attitude even you know many ads are coming in your tv like in your tv like advertisements so that advertisement also can create positive attitude because we feel that celebrities are doing some your favorite actors are doing ad for that particular advertisement maybe for any colgate so or any like any soap or any shower gel or for any shampoo simple simple home products i am telling or anything anything else or even some uh, coaching institute also do such things they will put a big uh, advertisement of the photos of their uh, people who have passed from their institute and uh, those who are settled or those who got campus placement or those who are settled in government job so we will get attract towards that institution right so these all are general things happening because it may create positive attitude modeling some people follow some other celebrities or anybody whom you are whom ever we like and we started doing yeah some actor is doing at uh, advertisement on alcohol or smoking i'm just giving example okay not sure so what will happen people will say that actress is doing so why can't i because i love that person that is why this alcohol so i will have positive attitude towards that alcohol but for public it is a negative attitude satisfaction of wants because i want something some objects i feel that if i get this food that food can satisfy my hunger so what i will feel that yes this is a good thing for me and i will have positive attitude towards that food prejudice prejudice is a uh, symbol uh, words which we use prejudice so you can understand the meaning pre means just pre before judice means judgment pre judice means pre judgment we are judging the people object or anything before feeling that particular thing or before facing before understanding that so it is developing about anything without proper information for example disliking a doctor or nurse without knowing their abilities just because of their caste religion or nationality no that doctor is a foreign doctor he is not an indian doctor so he will not be good like that we think this is a bad attitude negative attitude because we are prejudged or we think no that person is a hindu i am a christian no i cannot go like that such thinking comes in your mind we prejudge because we are judging the caste we are judging the religion we are not judging that human being that moral values of that particular being so that is not a good attitude so this were the formation of attitude how the attitude starting from your home your school your peer groups your conditioning your ethical values all those things are formation how this behavior attitude simultaneously goes because attitude are influencing our behavior in the same example of smoking cognition part was smoking is good or smoking is bad so i know smoking is bad for my health and my affect is that i will have a bad feeling towards smoking and what will be my behavior my behavior will be no smoking is not good i should not do smoking i will stop smoking so my attitude towards smoking will change and my behavior also will change so as the attitude so the behavior 
So a person having po political uh, party, simple example, a person having positive attitude towards any political party, they always appreciate that function. No, my political party is very good. Their uh, ideology is good. Their uh, ruler is good. Their minister is good. Their team members are good because I love my party. So my behavior towards my party will always similar. So positive or negative attitude towards many things in your society, untouchability, do not touch this caste people, do not eat with the Hindu, do not eat with the Muslim, do not eat with Christian, do not eat with this tribal people, this type of untouchability or dowry system, people take dowries, the hedge, right? From like if I should get married, your girl should get this much amount of money, girl should give me car, they should give me land, property. So that then only my attitude towards marriage will always be like that. If I marry, I will get money. So that is the attitude I am developing. So it is the wrong thing. Child marriage, since child people are getting settled, they are, they are planning their child marriage also. Remarriage of widow, some people say the widow. Widow, Vidva. So the people say, no, if the, if the female gets their husband got dead, she cannot marry. But some people say she can marry. Why she can't marry? So that attitude also starts in our behavioral changes. So it will influence by cognitive dissonance as well as self-fulfilling prophecy. Cognitive dissonance means how we are feeling of inconsistency in the feelings, belief, feelings or our beliefs, our behavior cognitive dissonance so that will always makes us uncomfortable one simple example if a nurse is working in tuberculosis what do you know about tb so tb patients it is a communicable disorder when the tb patient gets cough we may also get the same infection from the patient if you are not wearing mask if you are not properly wearing gloves when you are touching their uh, cough for secretion so same at negative attitudes uh, always we are developed because we feel that if i am working with tuberculosis i will get tuberculosis if uh, many people during covid times also when the nurses doctors they always have that thought even i also worked also in covid wards so i also thought that's in starting phase if i work with covid patient i will also get covid so but later uh, what will happen the nurse will not show directly in their behavior but what they will do they will try to change that ward from the tuberculosis ward they will tell some excuse and said i will not work in this ward i have some other health issues i want to work another ward i cannot work in covid ward because in their mind it is the thought that i will get covid but in uh, public or into the injars they will told they will tell that no because i have some health issues so i cannot work this is cognitive dissonance because this will influence that attitude we have developed that will influence our behavior self-fulfilling prophecy prophecy means taking uh, lecturing or something doing that attitude taking class like we try to convert our actions into reality because a negative a nurse who has a negative attitude to work in operation theater they may take it as a challenge Yes, I will work. If I work in COVID ward, I will take I take it as a challenge. No, I will work because I am a nurse. I should not think that I will get COVID. Better I will take it as a challenge and that positive attitude will come into my action and that action is behavior. So always remember attitude will lead to your behavior because if I develop a positive attitude, then my behavior also will be the positive. As I said, the example about COVID. If I took it as a positive COVID uh, patient, I took it as a, see, every patient is similar for me. So I will work with the COVID patient. So my behavior, my action, that is your action. Clear? So this is about attitude and uh, behavior. So how we can change people's attitude through various good education technique or even you can give fear inducing mechanism like threatenings or punitive measures that is also like uh, attitudinal changes. Some people may tell if you do not follow, no you have to work in COVID but otherwise I will not give you salary, otherwise I will, you know, I will put you double duty. Many things people may threat you or you feel it as a threat or as a punishment or some strict rules in your hostel, in your college or some legal actions will be taken. So that can also bring attitude change. Simple example, a toothpaste advertisement, they carry all always a threat have you seen any advertisement they always have some symbols they always is a technique they are at the technique in some or other way they will show that negatively that 
first they say the people are having bad order from the mouth then somebody say you are having bad order why can't you try for closeup or colgate or patanjali any type of toothpaste it is good for your good order good smell for your mouth there will be no infection so from the negative to the positive they are stimulating the public to use it so that is the appeal to purchase that face you know in the colgate how the ad is there where there is colgate there is health i am giving as example only it is not compulsory you should learn this example but just this thing that the attitude how people is changing they tell no advertisements are just only totally advertisement they are money earning business but sometimes we get addicted to those things also because these they are giving fear inducing mechan they are giving fear of this this like a call get simple examples like a uh, active soul will fight germs or some people will show about the cigarette smoking also they will show all this type of uh, tobaccos like all this to these are not good for health okay do not follow this i'm just giving as example because in their uh, pouches also if you see in the cigarette package also they also written like very clearly smoking is injurious to health but at the same time we are like taking risk towards that use of modeling technique some people like to be a model like they always follow like maybe serial act- actors or their actors like they loving actors also if my loving actor if i like this actor and that actor is doing smoking in that particular film then i will also follow the same or maybe tv serial or filmy world or direct personal experience anybody is having anything which i have experienced ha huh, i have good attitude towards this teacher because i have experience because that teacher is good to me so that is a good attitude towards that particular bringing desired changes in beliefs and attitudes because some attitudes are anchored in social norms of the society and it is very difficult to change because i belong to this particular caste so i can only marry a girl from this caste only such things people always tell or some hindu tradition they treat cow cow as a goddess because they have a positive attitude and they will not change that attitude so this all a normal thing which are happening in all of every religion social customs or social beliefs always have this type of changes and you can measure the attitude in different way because asking the people how to question and do the interview so psychometric technique is this once we have seen about attitudinal changes so how we can measure this it is difficult to measure the attitude but there are some checklist whether you are agreeing or disagreeing like agreement or disagreement these are known as attitude scales this also very important topic sometimes it comes even researchers also people do this how to like uh, Mm, their attitude. For example, I want to do a research study on HIV patient. So pe- I can go like asking people about their attitudes towards HIV positive. Because once we are thinking about HIV, first thing what comes in people's mind, yes, this people, this person or this patient got HIV from sexual contact. Not necessary. Might he might have got from some other blood transfusion or any infected syringe or needle or anything it might have. reached but our attitude will be like always negative so that is not a good thing being a nurse in your clinical thing we always should have a positive attitude so that uh, we'll see how this uh, attitude scales are developed one scale is thurston's attitude scale the theory is thurston has given this scale simple thing is they have a true or false question or agree or disagree response for example if this hospital is giving a service towards me then i have to tell whether the hospital is giving high standard or low standard if i agree then i will put tick mark to agree because some hospital they give a feedback form or you know about when you go to some uh, uh, like a hotel after eating food they will give a feedback form and they will tell you to tick in that feedback form like about the food the quality of food or the serving people about the neatness cleanliness hospitality then you have to tick 1 2 3 or like uh, agree or disagree so whatever you are ticking that is like uh, our attitude towards that food or that hotel people should avoid smoking if they want to remain healthy yes or no or you agree or disagree this is attitude scale and one is likert scale which have this scale 1 2 3 4 5 this is not a five point scale or even 1 2 3 are the three point scale even 1 to 7 is there seven point scale odd number we use because for easy calculation it is given by rennie likert likert scale 
they have this value strongly agree disagree undecided agree or strongly agree is an example if i disagree that means one mark if i disagree two mark undecided three agree four and strongly agree five mark just see one example you just think mobile phone use in campus computer lab should be provide prohibited mobile should not allow in the campus simple example what you will do every student will like to put on strongly agree is it true no everybody will put on strongly disagree no no mobile should be allowed so upon our attitude there is no right answer or no wrong answer always remember this is our attitude towards that mobile or towards that college it is the duty of doctors to keep people alive as long as possible doctors it is doctors duty to keep the people alive what do you think you have to agree disagree i uh, strongly disagree this is a seven point scale this is seven points are there this is five point scale okay so this way different attitudes can be checked and overall calculation can be done and we can finalize this that is it's a positive attitude negative or favorable or unfavorable attitude so this is very important chapter i hope you understood about attitude because in attitude people may ask you question like define attitude how attitude is forming development of attitude and whether attitude and behavior have any connection how to measure attitude so as the attitude as the behavior everything is connected so i hope you understood this topic because if you have developed a good attitude towards something our behavior also will be good towards that particular thing so best wishes for a positive attitude with a positive behavior thank you